Welcome to a concise overview of obesity. I am Dr. Ignacio Skoll. Uh, so there is a disclaimer. Uh, this it is the responsibility of the practitioner to rely on their own experience and knowledge of the patient to determine diagnosis and invest treatment for each individual patient. This presentation has been primarily designed as a study tool. This is an obese kid, so we have obesity rates are rising across the young ch children age groups. Uh, this is an obese uh, person. Uh, so we got clearly a uh, obesogenic lifestyle which we will continue to discuss in more detail. Obesity is uh, widely regarded as a modern pandemic. It has 42.4% prevalence in USA according to 2017-18 a study by the CDC of USA. A body mass index is an indicator of obesity. So. What is body mass index? Body mass index is calculated by the weight in kilograms divided by the height of person in meters squared. So what are the disadvantages of BMI as it is called? It does not discriminate between fat mass and lean body mass. It can be increased by increased muscle mass that is athletes and wrestlers and you can see these people who, and the people who go to gym regularly may have higher BMI. There are ethnic differences. Asians should have much lower BMI to stay healthy compared to their Caucasian counterparts. The advantages of BMI are it can be easily calculated. It is a very efficient measure of obesity. So other indicators of obesity are a waist circumference, which indicates the degree of abdominal obesity. Hip circumference measured from the two are greater trochanters. The waist to hip ratios shows whether the distribution of fat is android or gynecoid. We will study this in greater detail later. The skin fold measurement shows subcutaneous fat and the meat upper arm circumference shows the same. These other, uh, especially the skin fold measurement and meat upper arm circumference are more often used in children as groups. So uh, the range of BMI, underweight is less than 18.5 kg per meter square. The reference range is 18.5 to 24.9 kg per meter square for other ethnicities and 18.5 to 22.9 kg per meter square for Asians, including Indians. Overweight is 25 to 29.9 kg per meter square for other ethnicities, whereas it is 23 to 24.9 kg per meter square for Asian. And to be obvious, it is more than 30 kg per meter square for other ethnicities, and more than 25 kg per meter square for Asians. This, this is because in Asians, the body fat is accumulated in the abdomen, the visceral body fat inside the abdomen, intra-abdominal body fat accumulation is more in Asians, and this fat is uh, highly metabolically active and is responsible for numerous complications arising out of obesity. So, for Asians, the BMI limit has been set to a rather low. So, you can pause this and uh, see the principal cutoff points. Uh, it is, uh, uh, if you are uh, interested, uh, uh, obesity has also been classified into a three class, class one, class two, class three, with uh, 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 the underweight has also been divided into severe thinness, moderate thinness, and mild thinness. This is highly uh, detailed. <clears throat> this one is for Asians only, so we can see how uh, in Asians, the, the, even the BMI range, which is underweight for other ethnicities, is actually obvious one for uh, Asians. So we can see. And complications of obesity, there are many complications of obesity, the metabolic syndrome being the most common. The metabolic syndrome is actually a syndrome, it is a constellation of obesity, type 2 diabetes, hypertension, and hyperlipidemia, all four of which occur together. Metabolic syndrome is itself a risk factor for non-alcoholic steady hepatitis, coronary heart disease, stroke, and various other complications of diabetes. So another one is uh, liver fat accumulation, non-alcoholic hepatitis. I mentioned earlier, it can occur in conjunction with the 
metabolic syndrome, there is liver cirrhosis, and there is also restricted uh, ventilation, uh, which includes exertional dyspnea, incessant breathlessness, obstructive sleep apnea, and the obesity hypoventilation syndrome, also known as the Pickwickian syndrome. And the complications of obesity are the mechanical effects of the weight itself can also result in urinary incontinence, osteoarthritis, and varicose veins. And increased peripheral steroid interconversion in adipose tissue can uh, result in the adipose tissue and the uh, which becomes when it becomes uh, rich, when it becomes hormonally active due to obesity, it can cause hormone dependent cancer like breast cancer, uterus cancer. Polycystic ovarian syndrome, which includes infertility and hirsutism, so this can also cause. And all the complications are psychological morbidity, including low self esteem and depression, socioeconomic disadvantage, obese people are at socioeconomic disadvantage, their productivity is low, gallstones, colorectal cancer, skin infections from growing and so memory candidiasis to hyaluronitis supportiva. So, uh, apple versus pure obesity, which is more dangerous. Uh, the apple type obesity is also known as android obesity, and pure sipid obesity is gynecoid obesity. So, which one is more dangerous? This actually shows it clearly. Apple like shape is central obesity, it is also called as abdominal or body fat, it is more common in men. And the fat is stored around the organs, abdominal increases, risk of some diseases, diabetes, high cholesterol level, high blood pressure, heart disease, etc. And the lower body fat in the peers like shape, there is fat around hips, buttocks, and thigh. The peers like shape is more common to women, it is less risky for chronic diseases, most mainly to orthopedic problem. So the risk factors of obesity, there is a term the obesogenic environment. Why are the rates of obesity increasing? So there is increased energy intake, increase in person size, uh, eating more at once, increase snacking and loss of regular meals, increase intake of fatty foods, affluence of being rich, uh, there is decreased energy expenditure by the body, car ownership, decreased sports, increased time on computer games, internet and TV, Decrease walking to school, walk, increased automation, decreased manual work, and presence of central heating. Reversible causes of weight gain are endocrine factors, maybe hypothyroidism, Cushing syndrome, insulinoma, hypothalamic tumors, or injury, and drug treatment, including atypical anticyclosis, example, olanzapine, sulfonylureas, thiazolidine diodes, insulin, all of them are treatment for. Diabetes, pisotifin, corticosteroids, sodium valproate, and beta blockers. So, when you see someone who has gained more weight in the recent times, in six months or one year, you should uh, consider these uh, causes. In every case of obesity, you should uh, do some basic tests to rule out these causes. Approach to obesity. So, we first quantify the problem using BMI, body box index, and other indicators of obesity. We should exclude any underlying causes of weight gain, including pathological eating behavior. We should identify complications of obesity if they are present, and we should reach our management plan. So, this management includes lifestyle advices, weight loss diets, drugs, and surgery. So, lifestyle advices include the modification of obesogenic environment, which we told earlier. The exercise should be incorporated in the daily routine. So, basically, if you we do like 7 minutes or even 10 minutes exercise every day regularly, the exercise becomes a habit and so the, the weight loss becomes much easier. And changes in eating behavior. And there are weight loss diets too. Diets are very fatty, new fats come every day. The internet, the website, maybe writers promote their own diets, celebrities endorsement. So, there should be a reduction of daily total energy intake to 600 kilocalorie in very low calorie diet. So a minimum of 600 kilocalorie diet is necessary. And 50 grams of protein should be required daily to uh, 
uh, substantiate the amount of protein. Side effects of such very low quality di calorie diet may include orthostatic hypotension, headache, diarrhea, and nausea. There is, however, no rule for starvation diet, so avoiding food altogether is inefficient and is very, very dangerous. Minimum amount of calorie is 600 kilocalorie. You cannot go less than that. So drugs, there is only one agent which has which is authorized at present, which is Orlistat. There were drugs uh, previously, Sibutramine, which has been withdrawn. Uh, the Orlistat inhibits pancreatic and gastric lipases. It can cause side effects like loose stool, oil spotting, fecal urgency, flatus, and potential for malabsorption of fat soluble vitamins. Usually resolved for patients with patients with high risks of complications. There is no rule for diuretics and for thyroxine therapy in normal thyroid individuals. So only if patient has high risks of complications due to obesity, only stat can be used. Bariatric surgery. This is the most effective long-term treatment for obesity, and it is the uh, I have to say this. It's quite sad, but bariatric surgery is the only one which is able to maintain the weight. Uh, in long term, it is usually reserved for BMI more than 40 kg uh, per meter square, that is severe obesity. Bariatric surgery in increasing order of efficacy, we, as we go down, the surgeries are more complicated and more effective. Gastric banding, sleeve gastrectomy, root AY, gastric bypass, and duodenal switch. I guess this is all. Thank you. Uh, this has been Ignatius School. Subscribe for more medicine related videos. Healthy and follow healthy.